Oh, hello. Uh, this is uh, Jeremy. I call myself the Meek Geek on this gaming channel, Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater. Uh, we'll get back to our regular scheduled gaming videos, but I just wanted to talk very briefly uh, about something very kind of personal. Um, I don't usually talk too much about my personal life on this channel, but this is something very close to my heart, and I w would like to share this with you for a few uh, brief moments. Uh, as some of you already know, um, my personal life I have been going through and continue to go through uh, it's, a, it's a kind of a continuous cycle but uh, I just recently recovered from a, uh, a psychological and uh, spiritual I find it, I, I would like to say spiritual uh, death burial uh, and resurrection uh, not a literal resurrection obviously but a, and a mystical experience I've had a very a very personal experience of um, ego death and uh, many books have helped me through this process of sort of uh, being aware of my own potential and being aware of um, my my true purpose in life and I don't want to talk too much about uh, platitudes or philosophies on this channel but I want to tell you um, a few books that have helped me in my personal journey um, helping giving me some some more spirituality not religion not dogma uh, Joseph Campbell's the hero's journey the, the, the uh, he discusses the monomyth I highly recommend you get this book <clears throat> the hero's journey by Joseph Campbell and another book that helped me personally my personal journey uh, to become a, a better man was the book King warrior magician lover rediscovering the archetypes of the, the mature masculine by Robert Moore and Douglas Gillette now uh, this book uh, it was on uh, this book is primarily for young men who want to reclaim their mask their their mature masculine aspect but there are aspects there are chapters in this book that can help men women or whatever you identify with these days uh, there are principles that can help many people of many walks of life and uh, a chapter in this book that has helped me not only as a spiritual person but as a gamer <laughs> I'm gonna mention this is the chapter 6 the warrior uh, it's a great great chapter on how on the philosophy of the warrior the mature warrior not the immature hero but the mature warrior and I find this is a very appropriate chapter even for a gaming channel because there are there are elements or there are philosophies in this chapter that can apply to perhaps a gamer uh, who plays a hero on a quest who has a very uh, dangerous mission or dangerous quest in battling terrifying enemies, demons, monsters in their adventures and how to maintain your clarity of mind and clarity of thought. So uh, I did this video a few months ago uh, exp you know, while reading the book online. I have put it offline for now. I, I may put it online Facebook again, but for now, I want to share this chapter with you. Chapter six, the warrior from the book King Warrior, Magician Lover, rediscovering the archetypes of the mature masculine. There's a link in the description where you can buy the book on Amazon. I highly recommend you get the book that whether you're a man, woman, or whatever you recommend you um, identify yourself as. The philosophies are very agreeable to all walks of life. Very good philosophies of being a stronger person. And uh, I also insert the uh, a clip of uh, the scene where, uh, if in the from the movie Batman: The Dark Knight Rises, where Bruce Wayne is uh, attempting to escape his uh, his prison that um, Bane had locked him up after brutally beating his ass. <laughs> so sit back, relax, and enjoy this brief uh, section, this brief excerpt from the book. King, warrior, magi magician, lover, rediscovering the archetypes of the mature masculine uh, by Robert Moore, Douglas Tillett. And I'm reading the, ch uh, the section, uh, a, a portion from the chapter, uh, chapter six, The Warrior. Enjoy. The warrior traditions all affirm that, in addition to training, what enables a warrior to reach clarity of thought is living with the awareness of his own imminent death the warrior knows the shortness of life and how fragile it is a man under the guidance of the warrior knows how few his days are 
Rather than depressing him, this awareness leads him to an outpouring of life force and to an intense experience of his life that is unknown to others. Every act counts. Each deed is done as it were the last. The samurai swordsmen were taught to live their lives as if they were already dead. Castaneda's Don Juan taught that there is no time for anything but meaningful acts if we live with death as our eternal companion. These words can be seen expressed in the movie The Dark Knight Rises, where Bruce Wayne, a.k.a. Batman, played by Christian Bale, before making a daring escape from his dangerous prison, is instructed by his wise old fellow prison mate to be motivated and guided by fear, not as an enemy, but as a helper, a true warrior who has transcended the hero energy, uses his fear as a tutor.